let us now discuss about the next quadrilateral that is a square and like we have discussed all this while all these quadrilaterals are special cases of parallelogram so obviously a square is also a special type of parallelogram in fact square is not just a special type of parallelogram but it can it can be considered as a special type of rectangle or a special type of rhombus as well however let us understand the meaning of a square in terms of a parallelogram first so ABCD here shows a square now this is a parallelogram where all the four sides are equal and all the four interior angles are equal so a parallelogram where all the four sides are equal and all the four angles are equal becomes a square right so a parallelogram with all four sides equal and all four angles equal is a square all right so a square is a parallelogram where all the four sides are equal right so the adjacent sides are equal or opposite sides are also equal and all the angles are equal angle a equals to angle b equals to angle c equals to angle d and obviously each angle will be 90 degrees why because sum of the interior angles in any quadrilateral is 360 so 360 if you have to divide it in, uh, into four equal parts each part will be 90 so all the four angles are 90 degrees so that's about a square now like i've mentioned earlier square can also be treated as a special rectangle or a special rhombus because of the definition here just look at the definition a parallelogram with all the four sides equal only look at this part and a, par a parallelogram with all the four sides equal now we know that a parallelogram with all the four sides equal is a rhombus what is additional here all the four angles are also equal all the four angles equal so we can say that you know instead of reading it as a parallelogram where all the four sides are equal i can say rhombus right a rhombus with all four angles equal is a square right a rhombus where all the four angles are equal you know that in case of rhombus the angles are not equal only the opposite angles are equal but if all the four angles become equal then that rhombus is nothing but a square or the other way to look at it is is this this one you know that all four angles equal a parallelogram with all the four angles equal is a rectangle right all the four angles are 90 degrees so instead of saying a parallelogram with all four angles equal we can say rectangle but what kind of rectangle rectangle with all the four sides equal the additional part here is that all the four sides are equal now a rectangle where all the four sides are equal is a square right in a rectangle all the four angles are equal but all the four sides are not equal only the opposite sides are equal but if all the four sides also become equal then that rectangle is a square a rhombus all the four sides are equal but the angles are not equal only the opposite angles are equal but if all the angles also become equal then that rhombus is a square so square is a special parallelogram a special rectangle and a special rhombus now i'm sure it will be very easy for us to understand the properties right all the four sides are equal so ab equals to bc equals to cd equals to da of course the opposite sides are parallel right so ab is parallel to cd and bc is parallel to d right this is basic point in case of a parallelogram right since it is a parallelogram opposite sides have to be uh, parallel so ab is parallel to uh, cd and bc is parallel to da or bc is parallel to ad now what about angles all the four angles are equal angle a equals to angle b equals to angle c equals to angle d equal to 90 degrees all the four angles are equal and each angle is 90 degrees and of course adjacent angles will add up to 180 degrees satisfied right that's the property of parallelogram the adjacent angle should be adding up to 180 so angle a plus angle b 90 plus 90 180 same is the case with any other pair of adjacent angles also the opposite angles have to be equal yes angle a equals to angle c angle a is equal to angle c angle b should be equal to angle d so you see that all the properties of parallelogram are satisfied since this is a special case of parallelogram but again the same holds true like we have discussed in rectangle and rhombus rect every rectangle is a parallelogram but every parallelogram is not rectangle every rhombus is a parallelogram but every parallelogram is not rhombus same is the case with square each square can be taken as a parallelogram but every parallelogram is not a square in fact each square can also be taken as a rectangle a square is a rectangle where all the four sides are equal every square can also be taken as a rhombus a square is a rhombus where all the four angles are equal right so a square all the squares are rectangles are parallelograms are rhombuses but the converse is not true that's about angles now let's talk about diagonals right what are the two diagonals ac and bd now the two diagonals are equal we know in case of rectangle we have already learned that the two diagonals are equal 
in case of square also the two diagonals are equal right you can apply pythagoras theorem see all the four sides are anyway equal a a a and a so if these two sides are equal this will give you a diagonal same two sides will give you the other diagonal right so the two diagonals are equal only in case of rectangle and square the diagonals are equal in case of rhombus and parallelogram we have seen that the diagonals are not equal anyway so the two diagonals ac and bd bisect each other at the point o they bisect equal halves right so the diagonals are equal first and foremost ac is equals to bd and the second point is AO is equal to BO is equal to CO equals to DO or AO equals to OC, BO equals to OD. But since the diagonals are also equal in magnitude, these two parts will become equal to the other two parts. So AO equals to BO equals to CO equals to TO. And here again, the diagonals bisect each other at right angles, 90 degrees. All the angles are 90 degrees. This angle also is 90 degrees. Yes or no? Like we have seen in case of... Uh, uh, rectangle right rectangle uh, in, in case of rhombus sorry. in case of rhombus the diagonals bisect each other at 90 degrees here also the diagonals bisect each other at 90 degrees it means all these four are right angle triangles they are not just right angle triangles they are also right, uh, isosceles triangles why see you take this triangle here OCB the triangle OCB right there is a right angle so it is a right angle triangle but you know that this part is equal to this part right OC equals to OB so the two sides are also equal two sides are equal isosceles triangle right angle right angle triangle so all these four are right angled isosceles triangles right so the diagonals of a square will divide the square into four right angled isosceles triangles right that anyway you just uh, remember right so that's about the different properties with respect to square now area i'm sure you all know about area and perimeter of a square right what is area i've told you for any quadrilateral the area can be taken as base into height the base is a the height is also a the angle is 90 degrees right you know that the adjacent sides are perpendicular 90 degrees means what the adjacent sides are perpendicular when the adjacent sides are perpendicular this side itself will become height because like i've told you height is the vertical length vertical length or vertical distance between the two parallel sides which is nothing but a so base into height a into a area becomes a square or the other way uh, to calculate area of a quadrilateral is the product of the two adjacent sides into the sine of angle included so a into a into sine of this angle what is this angle 90 degrees angle in a square is 90 degrees right sine 90 is 1 so a into a into sine 90 will give you a square and perimeter is a plus a plus a plus a 4a so that's about the area and perimeter of a square so special uh, special quadrilateral right it is a special parallelogram it is a special rhombus and special rectangle